In this video I want to do some basic numerous examples which are not difficult but not also easy. A car travels or travel 300 meters in 5 seconds. How long does it take to travel? 1000 meters. Okay. So you know the relation between distance and time. Okay. So let me make up a column. So this is meters for distance and time for second. So the information that we know is 300 meters you need 5 seconds. The question is 1000 meters, how many seconds? Okay. Now here, the problem is, you want, this is an example of ratio, uh, you want to find 300 goes how many times, or 300 times what? Let me make up a figure. 300 times what gives me 1000. So that same thing you can multiply year to get the answer. So let me first write the question. My problem is 300 times what is 1000. So it's a, not a neat number. So it will be something with fraction. So we know 300 times 3 is 900. Now I want to get one more 100 which will give you 1000. Okay. So 300 times what gives you 100? So well, <coughs> one third is what comes to my mind. So 300, one third of 300 is 100. Okay, so this means, uh, this implies, you can say 300 times 3 and one third gives you 1000. If you multiply 300, with 3 and 1 third, you'll get 1,000. We'll check it on a calculator later, but we're trying to do without the calculator. So, if this, this is a ratio, or this is a proportion, 300 times 3 and 1 third gives you 1,000. To get this answer, you should multiply 5 with same same number, which is 3 and 1 third. So for this, I'll go 5, 1 to 5, 5 times 3 and 1 third. So well, I'll, I'm going to split this. So this, this means, this is 5 times, this 3 and 1 third means it is 3 plus 1 third. Can you see? 3 plus 1 third is 3 and 1 third. So using distributive properties, so this is 5 times 3, which is 15 and 5 times 1 third is 5 thirds. 5 thirds is 1 and 2 thirds. So 3 goes in 5 ones and so 5 thirds is 3 thirds plus 2 thirds. Okay, so here yeah, you need, uh, let me do it again, so this is 15 plus 1 2 thirds which is 15 plus 1 plus 2 thirds. So you need 15, 16 and 2 thirds second to be exact. To cover, if you're going at the same speed, you need 16 and 2 third second. 16 and 2 third second is the answer. I'll show you this on a calculator to explain this. So this is my calculator. So, I say that 300, 300 times 3 ABC1 ABC3 is 1000, okay? And if you go 5 times 3 ABC1 ABC3, am I right? Yeah, that is 50 thirds and that you can change as a uh, ABC. Uh, shift okay that is 16 and 2 third is the answer okay let me move on to the next question there are 48 oranges and oranges and 32 apple in a fruit bowl what percentage are orange so you've got 48 oranges and you've got 32 apples so let me first find the total number of fruits. Okay, so the fruits 
is this is 48 plus 2 is 50 plus 30 is 80 so you got 80 fruit so the question is what percentage are apple sorry oranges so oranges percentage of oranges is the question percentage is all always out of 100 so in this situation you have 48 out of 80 oranges is the information that you have and this I want to write out of 100 you got 48 orange out of the total 80 fruit okay so we can say it is 48 out of 40 sorry 48 out of 80 oranges uh, are there okay so this uh, what can I do I want to write this out of 100 so I can simplify this can I divide this by 4 yes 48 can be divided by 4 and can I divide 80 by 4 yes I can so 48 divided by 4 is if you don't know 48 divided by 4 you can do like this 40 divided by 4 which is 10 and 8 divided by 4 which is 2 so you can say 48 divided by 4 is 12 I'm you trying to teach you different uh, techniques of dividing okay you may not know 48 divided by 4 you can do this way so this is 12 and 80 divided by 4 should not be difficult so you are thinking what is 8 divided by 4 which is 2 so it is 20 now if you want to write this out of 100 well 20 goes in 100 how many times 20 goes in 100 5 times so if you multiply the denominator with <coughs> 5 it also multiply the numerator with 5 so this is 60 out of 100 and this as a percent is 60 percent okay next example <clears throat> if supply of food lasts 12 people 5 days how long does it last for 20 people so uh, so you got people and days so let me write people P for people and D for days so we have got 12 people the food will last for <coughs> five days excuse me and you want to find for 20 people how many days does it last now here before you do it you to use a logic as the number of people increase what will happen to the number of days will the number of days be more or less than five okay so you have more people you have the same supply of food so using logic I hope you can see this number should be less than 5 okay so it doesn't increase not this is an example of inverse proportion okay so if this is increasing this will decrease now to explain this let me make up let me explain first logic here okay so the information that we have is 12 people for 12 people the supply would last for five days okay now suppose you are thinking if so, so suppose there are only six people what will happen to the number of days will it increase or decrease you have the number of people or number of persons number of people have become half so what will happen to the number of days so if you have half the number of people the number of days would be double so you'll have the food will be sufficient for 10 days now here we are assuming that people eat on an average the same amount of food okay now if suppose you decrease that to three if this becomes three again this three is half of three is half of six so i hope you understand this will become double that is 20. so this is this has become half hmm? so here this has become double again this has become half this is half and this has double suppose if there is only one person so this is how much of one is how much of three so well that is one third so this would be becoming three times so this will last for 60 days so I want you to understand the uh, the logic here and see whether you can find a relation between p and number of people and number of days okay that's the crucial thing i want you to see 
Can you see a relation between these two numbers? Okay, 12 and 5. What is 12 times 5? So let me do P times D. Okay, and the next column P times D is, what is 12 times 5? I think you should know, it is 60. What is 6 times 10? It is 60. 3 times 20 is 60 and 60. So, wherever you have an inverse proportion, this is an example of inverse proportion. When this, in, this, when this is becoming half, this is becoming double. The product of the two numbers would always be constant. Okay. So, using the same logic, here this is 12 times 5 is 60. So, you are thinking 20 times what is 60? 20 times what is 60? So, well, that's easy. 20 times 3 is 60. So, for 20 people, it will last for 3 days. Okay, I want, I'll do a few more examples in my next video. See you in the next video.